Baseball fans, tomorrow, it all gets going. Real baseball begins. None of this... None of this garbage spring training, a month of it, and a meaningless baseball. It sucked. Finally, real baseball is about to begin. As the Blue Jays open up, open up the regular season portion of the schedule, tomorrow, after, I guess afternoon, 4-10 first pitch at Tropicana Field against the Tampa Bay Rays. Jose Barrios and Zach Eflin is the pitching matchup in Game 1. Before we go into our thoughts on the upcoming season, expectations, all that stuff, this is your 2024 Toronto Blue Jays roster. And these are your pitchers, is Chris Bassett, Jose Barrios, Henesis Cabrera, Bowden Francis, Jimmy Garcia, Kevin Gosman, Chad Green, Yusei Kikuchi. Okay, see, obviously this is not locked in because Alec Manoa's name's on here. But Tim Mazo, Wes Parsons, Nate Pearson, because he got called up and we'll talk about that why in a second. Trevor Richards. Um, and that's that. Offensively, you got Alejandro Kirk and Brian Servin behind the dish. Bo Bichette, Kevin Biggio, Ernie Clement, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Isaiah Kiner, Falefa, Davis Schneider, or Babe Schneider, Kevin Kiermeyer, Dalton Varsho, George Springer, and of course, the red turn, Justin Turner. And that rounds out your roster for the Toronto Blue Jays. Obviously, there's going to be some moves being made. We know about Jordan Romano. We know about Eric Swanson. That is why Nate Pearson and Wes Parsons are on this team for opening day. Jordan Romano out with an elbow, and Eric Swanson out with a forearm injury. Danny Jensen starts the year on the IL with a wrist injury. Alec Manoa still hurt, and he's going to be working his way back. It's going to take him some time. Arden Zwelling said on the J.D. Bunkus podcast that he'd probably be around May that he can get going. So we'll see what happens there with Alec Manoa. Blue Jay fans, this offseason has been, been very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. However, optimism always on opening day. What I will tell everybody is that the pitching staff is still one of the best in baseball. The rotation hasn't changed. Their bullpen, for the most part, when healthy, hasn't changed. Offensively, yes, you lost Matt Chapman, but other than April, we remember how much of a liability he was. Now, you lost Brandon Belt. You lost some other, you you traded away Santiago Espinal. There's some different vibes. You got Justin Turner, who we all know about the clutch numbers. Outstanding. Dalton Varsho, looking to have a big season this year. George Springer, looking to put those, you know, he's on the decline to bed. Kevin Kiermaier, looking to somehow match last year's total. David Schneider, trying to show everybody that it's not a flash in the pan in his 20 whatever it was, 2025 game stretch is not just a shot in the dark, a little rookie thing, and then they figured him out, and then he's garbage. We'll see. Can Isaiah Conner for finally hit a baseball? <laughs> Can Vladimir Guerrero Jr. get back to his potential? What's Ernie Clement going to give you? Kevin Bijo, can he build off of that second half of last season? Bo Bichette, you know what you're going to get. Alejandro Kirk, can he take those strides and get back to 2022 Alejandro Kirk? Offensively, there are lots of question marks with the Toronto Blue Jays. But I'm very excited to get this thing going. Because you know what? As I mentioned last season, it was the toughest year to watch. Because every time the Jays had guys in scoring position with less than two out, you never felt confident. Never. And with it being a new season... And we all remember Matt Chapman's numbers with runners in scoring position. And boy, they were bad. You bring in a guy like Justin Turner, who historically mashes with guys in scoring position. John Schneider also said today that Springer will be leading off. Vladdy's going to be batting second, both third, and Turner fourth. That's how they're going to start the season like that. And we'll see how it goes from there. But Turner, I love that. I honestly love it. Having Bo Bichette in front of him, the hits machine. You bring up Turner with guys on base. On paper, it should work nice. Now, Blue Jay fans, we're not going to talk about the, the, the entire staff itself. Because we're also here to talk about what the expectations are for this season for the Toronto Blue Jays. With a lot of contracts... Not really going much, very far beyond next season. We know Vladi and Bo are up next season. 
The year after that, I believe Kevin Gosman's up. Or maybe I'm maybe I'm one year off. But the next two seasons, like this season's fine, next year's fine, then we're in limbo. The time to win is now. Is this Jays team a World Series contending team as of right this second? They're not. But baseball, as we've seen over the years, is a crazy sport. If Vladdy can turn things back to 2021, if George Springer can go back to even 2022, if Bobachek can do his thing, if Kirk can be all-star Alejandro Kirk, this offense looks different and you add that to the great pitching staff, who knows what's going to happen. And around the American League East, there are tons of question marks. Yes, the Orioles went out there and got Corbin Burns, but they also don't have Kyle. I think, what, isn't Kyle Bradish done for the season or most of the season? And John Means is done for the season or, again, most of the season. Garrett Cole's out the first couple months for the Yankees. The Rays, they don't have McClanahan. They don't have Drew Rasmussen. They've lost some guys, albeit they're the Tampa Bay Rays. And the Red Sox aren't all that great. I'm not going to say the AL East is up for grabs because I still truly believe the Orioles are the team of the American League East until I see otherwise. But for this Blue Jays team, we've heard it from Bo Bichette how they're being counted out this season. They're being doubted. There's no expectations. In fact, they're getting actually talked about as not making the playoffs. So go prove to them that you are. So what are my predictions? Where do I think the Blue Jays are going to sit this season? Honest prediction, I think they're going to be fighting for a wild card spot. It's just the way it is. I truly believe the Baltimore is the best team in the division. Regardless of their pitching staff, you have an ace at the front of it in Corbin Burns. And you have that ridiculous offense, which eventually is going to get Jackson Holiday. The Yankees, I've never really believed in them. Yeah, you got Juan Soto, but after Soto Judge... And uh, maybe Rizzo, if the dude stays on the field, like who do you trust with a bat? And other than Garrett Cole, do you really trust Marcus Stroman, a ground ball pitcher in, in the, back in the American League East? And after that, there are tons of question marks if you're the Yankees. So the AL East is kind of up for grabs, but we're not there yet. And for the Toronto Blue Jays, the start of the season is so important. Because they play an insanely tough schedule to start. And of course, that's when you don't have your two most reliable relievers. Four against the Rays at the Trop to start. You go to Houston. You go to the Bronx. Then you finally come home for the home opener. You play the Mariners. Then you got the crappy Rockies. But then you got Yankees and Padres. Before I go and see them in Kansas City. It's an insane stretch to start the season. But Jays fans, what did we see last year from this team? They were putrid against the American League East. And you have an opportunity right out of the gate to make your presence known. You go into the trap and win three of four, instantly we're like, oh, well, okay. Because at the end of the season, we look at tie breaks and stuff like that. Those matter. These games at the beginning of the season, inner division, they matter. You play the Yankees twice in the first month. You play the Rays once for four. The Astros could be a team you're fine with for a wild card spot. Who knows? You play them for three within the first month. It's going to be a very important stretch. They got to hit the ground running. And we'll see what happens. Blue Jay fans, I'd love to hear your expectations. I'd love to hear all your thoughts, positive and negative. But I think we can all agree on one thing. Maybe not just Jays fans, baseball fans in general. Opening day is upon us. And we can't be I can't be more excited right now. Especially with how putrid the Raptors are and how undesirable the Leafs are right now. Gimme baseball. And as I mentioned off the top, the first game of the season goes tomorrow. 4-10 first pitch at the drop. Zach Eflin, Jose Barrios is a pitching matchup. Game two on Friday evening at 6.50. Chris Bassett, Aaron Savale. Again, that's their number two starter. Game three, Yusei Kikuchi and Zach Littell. Again, he's their three. And then uh, it's not lined up after that. So they don't know if they're going to go Kevin Gosman on the Sunday or the Monday in Houston. That's the big question mark right now. But that's your first three games against the Rays at the Trop. 
So baseball fans in general, Blue Jay fans, let's get the season underway. All right, so you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and are just, just jacked up for baseball to begin, hit that like button. I do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not already. Comment down below. Thoughts on the video. Thoughts on the game. Would you, or maybe the game. It hasn't been a game yet. Thoughts on the upcoming season. Comment down below. Go crazy. Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok. All that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you're not done so already. And I will talk to you guys. Uh, Raptors edition. Uh, they'll be on the court at least. On Sunday, 6 p.m. tip-off as they host the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. As for the Leafs, they're back in action tomorrow night. 7 o'clock puck drop between the Leafs and the Capitals. And I will be at that game. So, Jays fans, that video will be uploaded when I get home from the Leafs game. Just a heads up there. And the Blue Jays, game one of 162, gets going tomorrow afternoon. Uh, 4 first pitch down in Tampa Bay, Florida, or St. Petersburg, Florida, at Tropicana Field. As the Jays and Rays face off. Jose Barrios, Zach Eflin is the pitching matchup in game one of six, uh, one of 162. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and are jacked up for baseball. We'll talk to you guys then.